What's happening, YouTube? It's your story, Rock Combo, aka the Professor on the Sticks. I got a good game for you, and then actually, I got a second game versus a subscriber right afterwards. So you're definitely gonna want to watch the full video. And if you haven't already mashed that like button, I do appreciate the support. And might as well leave a comment as well afterwards, and let's interact, let's chit chat. Uh, so I'm able to get an interception in the first quarter and after the first drive. Um, the second game is against a subscriber. For some of you long-time subscribers, you know, one of the series I did was grading the subs. Uh, grading the sub, and that's something I'm going to try to, I'm actually determined to bring back next year for Madden 16. Um, if you are new, what that is, is I, um, you know, I play a game against a subscriber, try to treat it as, you know, as tournament-like as possible, and then I grade them afterwards and give them an offense, defense to grade, and uh, you know what they can work on and then gives you a chance also to beat me so um, it's uh, it's kind of fun a lot of people enjoy that and a lot of people don't don't uh, get the chance to I guess look back at a game and see it from a different perspective besides whenever you're just playing it because I know when I'm recording games I can you just see things differently whenever I'm editing up the gameplay I see reads that I miss reads I need to make pre-snap reads I didn't need to do better and then adjustments as well, um, and sometimes in real, real, real time fire, that's that's hard to read. So I'm up seven zero. My opponent has a third and goal at the four yard line. Drops a pass, takes his field goal. So now it's seven to three, with uh, three and a half minutes left in the uh, second quarter, right before half here. I'm coming out on some bunch weak. Looked like I ran some verticals and had a nice little, nice little shallow crossing route coming across the field. To make it third and four, uh, I don't really think that was a great play on my part. To fourth and three, and he gets a user pick. Uh, I have no idea what happened at the end of that 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 drive. The last few plays were very suspect. <laughs> Just did not execute. I don't think I made some good play calls either. But anyways, it's second and eight. He tries to face catch me. Nothing can do right there. Third and eight after he has the drop. Throws it, throws it up with Cam Newton once again to Mike Evans for the face catch, and I'm able to swat the ball away. So now it's seven to six. Uh, those are two huge drives where I was able to stop him in the red zone. Instead of being 14-7, it is 7-6, and I still have the lead and the ball as we're going to try to make this the last possession of the half. I uh, got a nice little pick by Plexico Burris. He almost jumped it for the pick, but I was able to just squeeze it in there. Then him with a nice little shallow cross. Go down. Don't want to take any big hits. Back in bunch week. Dot to Gronk with, oh, and then he fumbles. Luckily, we recover it. Nice little slant route into the red zone. I tried to do the spec catch in the red zone. Nothing there. Second and ten. Spec catch for a for a touchdown. So now it's 14-6, going um, close to the end of the half. Uh, he still has a few seconds left. You know he's probably gonna throw some hail marys or something like that. Instead, he's able to take off with Cam, get a nice little run. Um, looks like he was about to take off again, but I was kind of spying him. And I have double coverage there. I'm on three three man deep, so. Hopefully nothing. He hopefully he's not able to do anything here. And uh, right here, as the time runs out, he's gonna throw a hell mary into the end zone. And we know how Madden 15 is. And I get the pick. That was a that was a pretty crazy pick. I'm just so glad he didn't act, ended up catching that and running into the end zone off the deflection. So going into the third quarter, I'm up 14-6 with ball. So I'm feeling very confident of where I'm at and the position I'm at in this game, especially because my offense uh, had one you know kind of. Pretty bad drive there in the first half. Tried him over the misdirection out of the I-form pro, I believe that formation was. Nothing there, but I was able to get the first down. I was able to pick up that one or two yards to get that uh, that first down. Hit him up with a nice little play action pass. I got two cross rounds coming across the middle. Nothing was open, so I dumped it down on my running back. Third and two, hit him up with a counter, and he locks it up. So now it's fourth and four. Fourth and medium, I'm going to be playmakering. I'm not going to be punting. And this is the guy, Pickett Fence, who I'm going to be playing next. And so uh, he joined the party and was trying to get a game. We haven't played this year yet. We've played a decent amount uh, the year before uh, Madden. So, um, you know, he wanted a shot. He was feeling good. He said, let's, let's go, Route Combo. I can, I can beat you. I got it. I got this new defense. So, um, so you'll, you'll check that out uh, in just a second. But let's get back to this game. It's 14-6, to and we're coming up to the end of the third quarter. Um, so... Cam Newton, look at that little, nice little spin move to make it fourth and one. And I, I'm in my uh, goal line defense, and look at that. <laughs> Hats off to you, route combo. <laughs> I just knew that play was coming, and he threw it right to my user. <clears throat> Please let me be able to intercept that in next year's Madden. 
but I'll take the deflection on fourth down. Um, <clears throat> so I played some pretty good defense there to lock up, and really the difference in this game is situationals. Um, the two situations he had in the red zone where he had to settle for two field goals, and then um, the fourth down. He didn't convert, and I converted on fourth and two. He didn't convert on his fourth and one. So that's really the difference in the game. It's just a select few plays. And Bo to the 10, to the 5, and I'm going to fumble. <laughs> oh, I'm a showboat. I'm an idiot. I'm selfish and not a teammate. Bad, bad Bo. That's like the Auburn version of Bo. <laughs> the roll tide. But, uh, yeah, so now it's 14 to 6. He gets the ball back. Talking about situational plays, that was just stupid. That hole was wide open. And I had the touchdown, however, I uh, decided to showboat. And this is on very unfortunate. He gets a fumble at the two-yard line. And then I take it out to the one because uh, I didn't know I didn't know if I was going to have to take a safety or not. I'm in a goal line, and I the play, this exact same play he did on fourth and one. However, I put uh, my tight end or whoever over there on a streak and was able to, uh, to beat him deep. And that's going to be the end of the game. He ended up quitting out after that. Um, so... Now I'm playing the subscriber, Picket Fence. I've known him for a while. Uh, so as you're going to see his defense, look at it. He has, uh, he pinches his line. I'm not too sure. If, look, he has like three or four guys over my center and guard. And so I know it's some type of heat's coming, but I don't like the alignment of it. Now he's playing some coverage defense on fourth and six. And I'm able to hit him with a nice little curl route and get out of bounds of the 47. But I don't really like the alignment on it. I feel like. Uh, personally, I would never use that defense, even if it brings heat. There's a lot of good heat out there, but whenever you pinch your line um, and some of the different adjustments he was doing, it was just too many people in the box, and um, th that pressure better be quick and not block not blockable uh, if you're going to start running that kind of stuff. But that's just my opinion, you know, to each their own. As you can see, the, the pressure does come in right there off that left edge. I don't know if that's where it's supposed to come from, but it came from there on that play. And, you know, I settled for a field goal, so a good job on his part. However, that defense, I'm just like, if he stays in that defense, I'm going to have a field day with it. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, we'll see as the game goes on. Uh, whenever whenever you don't have your defense and, you know, I guess the alignment, just whenever you do too much with the alignment like that, it's just there's too many openings. And if I can get to the outside with some of these runs like I did here, um, I'm going to be able to make some, some big runs if I get a, the pressure blocked. There's going to be some openings in the secondary. So I'm up 10-0. He's back on offense. He's trying to run PA end around. Um, I have it pretty much locked up, but he throws this lob streak. No animation for me or him. Uh, then he, he throws it to the flats. Nothing really there, but he not, does breaks a tackle and gets five-yard gain out of it. Fourth and six, I sent the A-gap and was able to get a, um, a nice little sack, or he wasn't able to complete the pass. And now I'm up 17-0 the very next play. And back on back on on defense, and I've locked him up so far. So we'll see if that continues. Once again, he's having issues with picking up that pressure, and now he goes to fourth and fourteen. And what was Sherman doing? If, if you rewatch that, Sherman just just stopped playing the game of football in mid play, uh -huh. and then he goes up for the face catch, and then Sherman decides to actually make a play on the ball. I'm gonna, I, I don't blame Trevor for going going right back to Sherman after that animation he had uh, last play. Luckily, I was able to get the pick, and then it looked like he did a run commit or something, and uh, this pretty much ended the game um, after this series. He ends up quitting out, but uh, definitely mash that like button, and let me know in the comment section below, is there anything that I can do to make these videos better for you, uh, more entertaining? What do you want to see, especially coming into the Madden 16 season? I definitely want to be uploading very consistently, and hopefully we can get this, this channel to grow. And uh, I would appreciate any feedback that you might have. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the sticks.